How many times this happened to you? You spent hours on a print only to waste more time, energy and let's be honest, a bit of blood trying to remove those stubborn supports. It's frustrating, right? Hi, my name is Alessio, this is Pixel Forge Lab and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new to the channel. But what if I told you there is a simple fix? Today I'm going to show you a game-changing setting in Bamboo Lab Studio that will make your support removal nightmares a thing of the past. Let me give you an example. Here's the Blue Beetle helmet I printed recently. The design was awesome, but man, removing those supports felt like a battle. If only I knew then what I'm about to share with you now. So, what's the secret? It's a setting called Top Z Distance. This little tweak can save you from a lot of unnecessary hassle. Let's dive in. First, let's take a look at the Process tab. Here we have our four cubes with identical overhangs. But here's where it gets interesting. Instead of applying one setting to all of them, we're going to assign a different Top Z Distance to each cube. This way we can see exactly how each setting affects support removal. I will set the first cube to the default 0.2, which is pretty tight and tough to remove. The second will be 0.25, a slight improvement. The third cube will be at 0.275, which, in my experience, is the sweet spot. And finally, the fourth one at 0.3 which might make the supports too loose and could even lead to failed prints. Now, let's see these prints in action. As you can see, they are all coming out nicely, but the real test comes when we try to remove the supports. This is where that small adjustment in the top Z distance will really show its value. All right, moment of truth. First up is the cube with the default 0.2 setting. As expected, it's a struggle. The supports are stuck and I'm risking damage to the print just trying to get them off. Next, we have 0.25. Slightly better, but still not ideal. There's still too much resistance. Now, here's the sweet spot, 0.275. The supports come off cleanly with just enough resistance to avoid print failures. This is the setting that strikes the perfect balance. And lastly, 0.3. The supports are almost too loose which can lead to issues with print quality. This is a bit too far on the other side of the spectrum. As you can see, a simple adjustment like the top Z distance can make a huge difference in your print's outcome. Depending on your material, object size and orientation, you will want to dial in the setting that works best for you. For me, 0.275 is the sweet spot for Bamboo Lab PLA Basic, but yours may vary. So, the next time you're still struggling with supports, remember this little trick. It could save you a lot of time and maybe a few fingers. And thank you so much to the sponsor of this video, Polymaker, which sent me a lot of filaments to try out and I'm having a blast. Remember to watch the video where I show what to do with the purge lines and how to store them. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do to consider so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.